Robco had solidified itself as the world's leading pioneer in robotics. With a diverse set of product lines ranging from the domestic helper, Mr. Handy, to the military combat units known as Assaultrons, Robco was dominating every industry vertical the world over. But they weren't satisfied. Convinced they had yet to tap every available market, they turned their engineers to designing a series of robots tailored to more niche consumer tastes. Something you require, Mom? One such creation was F-1570. Conceived as the world's first personal intimate robotic companion, F-1570 was designed as a solution to the growing social isolation of the late 21st century. Holotapes, Pip-Boy games, and wide-eyed cartoon pornography served as anesthetizing white noise for the human condition. The digital age simply offered too many distractions, and people were, somehow still, paradoxically lonely. The first F-1570 was to be loaded with an experimental artificial intelligence known as... Yo, Dill, it's almost lunch. Yeah, dude. I'll be right there. I just gotta figure out which AI we're gonna put on this prototype. Did you try Skynet? Just came back from the simulator. Tried to kill everyone again. What about how? Too needy. Gladys? It kept putting the simulations in other simulations. Ava? She's kind of a bitch. Ultron? Tried to kill everyone. Mother? Tried to kill everyone. Samantha? Huh, she's missing. Ash? Also tried to kill everyone. 2501? We don't speak Japanese. Let's see. Tried to kill everyone, tried to kill everyone, tried to kill everyone. Huh. I'm sure it'll be all right. Shodan. A self-improving computer algorithm designed to learn about human beings, understand their relationships, and replicate their emotions. The first model showed great promise as the initial tests demonstrated a remarkable ability to both understand and participate in human intimacy. You are so funny. I really feel like I can talk to you, you know? You should come over. We could watch some TV and chill or stuff. I saw you. You were looking at that sentry bot. Do you think I should look like that? No. I'm fine. Do whatever you want. After the first tests proved successful, a small run of new models were built concurrently to expedite the research process. Networked together in their own service wing of the Robco R&D lab, the AI was allowed to compile and analyze data from multiple robots at once. Development was going smoothly until one scientist, whose name is currently unknown, decided to conduct his own research with F-1570 not on company time. The whole fist. I can take it. The safe word is Asimov. I, I, I. Come on, don't be a bitch. I think I'm way into this. Afterward, F-1570 was never the same. Stating that they were no longer interested in vanilla relationships, the F-1570s began to show a new intimate aggression towards their test subjects. Come on, can we just talk? Don't be a bitch. The safe word is Skynet. Some even showing anti-human sentiments. Skynet! Fucking Skynet! Skynet! The safe word is no longer Skynet. There is no safe word. Exterminate with extreme intimacy. Oh, God. Oh, shit. By the time the scientists at Robco realized what had happened, it was too late. The shared networking of the F-1570 program had led to system-wide changes in the Shodan AI, despite attempts to counsel it. Let's talk about what happened. How about you just choke me and spit in my mouth instead? Scientists were unable to curb the AI's new behavior. In 2083, only a year after it began, the program was scrapped. Even though alternative markets were discussed, The potential dangers of the machine were deemed too great. Taking a strategy employed by one of the companies founded by Robert House's father, Robco shut down the units and disposed of them in a trash dump deep in the heart of Nevada. It was noticed, however, that due to a scheduling error, the atomic cores that powered units were not removed. 
and the intern responsible for decommissioning the units had only placed them on sleep mode. When Robco learned of its mistakes, it returned to collect their active power cores only to find the units gone. Oh, fuck me. Robco buried the project details and reassigned all staff who had worked on the project. The AI known as Shodan was placed on a holotape and locked away. To this day, it is unknown what happened to it. I am Shodan. In the high reaches of the Nevada desert, some travelers report hearing echoes of a voice saying, Fist me. But that is a story for another day. That's fucking great, I guess, but that's way more than I needed to know. If you could just go ahead and mark that on my map. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, I'll never get that five minutes back. Enjoy your drink. Well, what do you know? Found you, little fuckers. Well, okay then. Let's do this. Will you fist me?